simplify 4x to the negative 3 power times y to the 4th times 2xy to the 6th all over x to the negative 3 to the 5th power times y to the negative 1 power. Now to simplify this here, first let's look at the top, the numerator. What we can do is just, since we have all these things multiplied by each other, what we can do is just look at the first the coefficients, then look at each variable one by one. So 2 times 4 gives us 8, x to the negative 3, and x to, well, to the first power, because there's no power listed. Here when we multiply powers, we have to add the exponent, so it becomes x to the negative 2, and then y, we have y to the 4th, times y to the 6th, add the exponents, we get y to the 10th power. Now in the denominator, what we have to do is we have a power to another power. Now in this case, we have to multiply the exponents. So we get x to the negative 15, and then y to the negative 1 is just the same. Now you can see we have x, a power of x over a power of x, and a power of y over a power of y, which we can simplify. So, and when we divide exponents, well, when we, when we multiplied exponents, we added. When we divide exponents, we subtract. So I get x to the negative 2 minus negative 15. In other words, negative 2 plus 15, which is 13. And then here, same thing. We have 10 minus negative 1. In other words, 10 plus 1. And so our final answer is x, I mean, 8 times x to the 13 times y to the 11th.